I'm Georgiane Pistaya and I'm here to talk about my paintings. I like painting the figure the best. I paint florals, landscapes, abstract figurative, but mostly I want to relate to something about the human form. What I'm trying to do with my painting is make something that's really damaged and at the same time very beautiful. A phrase that I use to describe my work is transforming the mistake. Um, to me, that is a really important like life lesson that I want to share, somehow give that message to people when they're buying a painting. I started painting at age 37, and by the time I was in my 30s, I had a little bit of patience, and I had a couple of divorces, so I had a lot of stuff to work through. What I wanted to do was make these paintings look old and antique, um, like they had a history. The way that I actually did this was um, accidental. There was a lot of oil paint on a painting, and I wanted to paint something else over it. So I thought, why don't I use this Murphy's Oil Soap that I clean my brushes with and just wash this canvas, and then start fresh. And to the horror of my friends, what are you doing pouring soap and water on the canvas? And I loved the, the way it looked. It really looked water damaged. What I found was I liked these effects. And what I've tried to do is make these paintings that have the effects that look distressed or sort of torn up or absolute chaos, but that are actually going to survive. And I've come up with a way to do that. I wanted to actually make these frames myself. And a lot of the canvases I make stretch myself. And they're definitely not perfect. And if you want perfect, you're not going to like my paintings. But the people who like my paintings get it. They, um, they understand that there's something raw that I'm going for, something really visceral that comes from uh, being able to tolerate something being imperfect. Um, to make art with all the questions answered deprives the viewer of the joy of participating in the act of creation. When I, my daughter was you know, young, I wanted to tell her everything about the world. I took her to Golden Gate Park and I said, these are the leaves that are rustling, this is this and this is that. One day, I had strep throat and I just took her to the park and I said, nothing. And she said, that was great, Mom. She didn't need all the narration. She just wanted to be with me in that moment. Similarly, people, I find, don't need all of the information in the painting to get it. And in fact, they enjoy it more. After that, I started erasing parts of the painting. And that's how I came up with my distressing process, was how can I take some of the painting away without um, taking all of the painting away? And that is what I've been dancing with. That's been the process that's lighthearted and fun. And some artists say, you've got a lot of guts. You, you don't care if you destroy painting. Well, no, I have to be willing to completely risk destroying it because when it works, I get something really great. And, and you know, it's a process that I've never seen anyone else do, and I share it with other artists, and they go, uh-huh, right, I'm never touching that with a 10-foot pole because they're very attached to the marks that they've already made. I'm not attached to those marks. You can't hold on to someone because you love them and they don't love you anymore. You know, you can't really hold on to your child. They're just passing through you. You're lucky to spend some time with them. You can't hold on to a mark you made on a piece of canvas that you thought was just the most perfect thing because you might put your foot through the canvas and you have to let that go. So that's what I learned through painting.